A 100 billion neurons connected by 100,000 billion synapses. The human brain is most complex machine in the world. The human brain has the same general structure as the brains of other mammals, but is larger than any other in relation to body size. The adult human brain weighs, on average about 1.5 kilograms, with a volume of around 1,130 cubic centimeters in women, and 1,260 cubic centimeters in men. Men with the same body height, and body surface area as women, have on average 100 gram heavier brains. The human brain, has many properties that, are common to all vertebrate brains. The three parts called, the forebrain, midbrain, and hindbrain, each with fluid-filled ventricles, at their core. And a set of generic vertebrate brain, structures including the medulla, pons, cerebellum, optic tectum, thalamus, hypothalamus, basal ganglia, olfactory bulb, and many others. Here in this animation. The prefrontal lobe. The prefrontal lobe, is the interior part of the frontal lobes of the brain. This brain region has been implicated in planning, complex cognitive behavior, personality expression, decision making, and moderating social behavior. The most typical psychological term for functions carried out by the prefrontal lobe area is executive function. Executive function relates to abilities to differentiate among conflicting thoughts, determine good and bad, better and best, same and different future consequences of current activities, working toward the defined goal, prediction of outcomes, expectation based on actions, and social control. The frontal lobe, located at the front of each cerebral hemisphere, and positioned anterior to the parietal lobe. The frontal lobe, contains most of the dopamine sensitive neurons, in the cerebral cortex. The dopamine system is associated with reward, attention, short-term memory tasks, planning, and motivation. The temporal lobe is a region of the cerebral cortex that is located beneath the lateral fissure on both cerebral hemispheres of the mammalian brain. The temporal lobes are involved in the retention of visual memories, processing sensory input, comprehending language, storing new memories, emotion, and deriving meaning. The central solux is a fold in the cerebral cortex in the brains of vertebrates. Also called the central fissure, the central solux separating the parietal lobe from the frontal lobe. The medulla is the lower half of the brain stem. In discussions of neurology and similar contexts where no ambiguity will result, it is often referred to as simply the medulla. The medulla contains the cardiac, respiratory, and vasomotor centers, and deals with autonomic, and voluntary functions, such as breathing, heart rate and blood pressure. The occipital lobe is the visual processing center of the mammalian brain containing most of the anatomical region of the visual cortex. A significant functional aspect of the occipital lobe is that it contains the primary visual cortex. Each visual cortex receives raw sensory information from the outside half of the retina on the same side of the head and from the inside half of the retina on the other side of the head. The cerebellum is a region of the brain that plays an important role in motor control. It may also be involved in some cognitive functions such as attention and language and in regulating fear and pleasure responses. The cerebellum is located at the bottom of the brain with the large maths of the cerebral cortex and the portion of the brain stem called the pons in front of it. It is separated from the overlying cerebrum by a layer of leathery dura mater. All of its connections with other parts of the brain travel through the pons. The parietal lobe. The parietal lobe is a part of the brain positioned above the occipital lobe and behind the frontal lobe. The parietal lobe integrates sensory information from different modalities, particularly determining spatial sense and navigation. For example, it comprises somatosensory cortex and the dorsal stream of the visual system. This enables regions of the parietal cortex to map objects perceived visually into body coordinate positions. Several portions of the parietal lobe are important in language processing, 